Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Justin McCormick back again. And uh, after a bit of a hiatus with the flu, we're back. So football will not be deterred this season as uh, we'll just have to push on. So still slightly getting over a few things, but uh, we'll deal with the best we can. So got my water ready. Got my hands ready. And let's see what we get into this week as uh, we'll be taking on the division rival Austin Wranglers. As right now, it's been a pretty good season for them as well. As they're sitting at 7-6. and six. They've got a win streak after winning last week. Uh, point totals are pretty close between the two teams. We are the second leading scorer in the league at 51 on average. While well, they're tied for fifth at 46.7 points. So their offensive rating is pretty good as well. 3,300 yards and we're at 3,500. Our rush offense is not there, but theirs is. They're one of the best in rushing and one of the best in rush defense as they have held their teams. We, however, are not. Our pass defense is stellar. And theirs is pretty good in the top six. Turnover difference, thankfully, we've got the lead in this. So if we can cause some turnovers, we should be able to win this one. That is, if we can push our offense into the way that they need to go. Uh, the one thing I do want to look at real quick, the standings. As you can see, the Slasher, one game behind the Desperados in the National Conference. While the Soul and Wranglers with the Dragons are right there, a couple games back from the Slash as well. American Conference still close with the Avengers and Rush and 9-4, and four, Crush right behind them by one game. Cats and Gladiators trying to see if they can sneak into the playoffs as they are a couple games back from the Avengers. Looking at the National Southern, if the Slash can hold off the Wranglers today, they will take the division. But if the Wranglers get a win here, they might be able to try and see if they can steal it from the Slash. As we'll take a look at the rosters, it is uh, a bit of a problematic thing for the Wranglers as we'll get to their injuries. As Damon Mason out with a torn pectoral, he's going to be out until the playoffs. So if they get in, they'll definitely need to hope that he'll return soon. Uh, Darren Chiaverini is going to be out a couple more weeks. He had a broken jaw, and that's definitely not good for him. Aaron Humphrey, the old lineman with turf toe, he's going to be out for a few more weeks, at least until the playoffs. So they'll definitely be missing him. As we'll take a look at who we are facing, it is the one and only Adrian McPherson who will be leading the charge. If John Fitzgerald is needed, he will be there, though, just in case. As uh, Kevin Nickerson is going to be the offensive specialist here, backed up by Sir Mon Wilson. And with Mason out, Daventus Franklin will be taking over as offense, as defensive specialist. Nate Coggins will be there just in case, and then Deveron Harper will be on the tail end of that. Donovan Arp on the line on the left-hand side, backed up by David Richardson. And with Aaron Humphrey out, Angel Rubio is going to be the man that will lead on the right end. Eric Thomas will be the man in the middle, and he'll be backed up by Teron Johnson if need be. Dane Krager is going to be the fullback linebacker for this game here. With Chiaverini out, Fred Coleman will take wide receiver linebacker spot here in this one. With Cedric Robertson playing wide receiver D-back, with P.J. Winston being the other guy there. Todd Sievers. The kicker for today for the Wranglers as he'll be trying to see if he can put some points up if they can't get in the end zone. So ladies and gentlemen, 
after a long overdue stint we're hitting week 16 we're going to try and close out this season at least the season itself and then get to the playoffs sometime around the weekend so we'll try and see if by the first of next week we will have ourselves in the playoffs one way or the other the wranglers hosting the slash that's next so here we are austin texas frank Irwin center the location of today's game as the cincinnati slash will take the field they are definitely looking to see if they can continue the winning ways that they've been having all second half of the season. After some roster modifications and get rid of a few guys that we could have held on to but decided to part ways with, we picked up a few good guys. As the regulars coming out here, they're all blue. Looks like they want to play the role of the good guy this Western as they're wearing their white hats. We'll see if we can call the toss. If we call tails, we do get it, so we're definitely going to kick it because we want that ball that second half. So they will take the left-hand side of the screen here, and here we go. Now, with a little bit of rust on me, I'm going to have to definitely see if I can shake this off. Get back into game form. Cincinnati 9 and 4 leading the conference. Got to see if they can continue things here. Homebreaker starting things off, and he will kick a straight kick. That's good for me, as that'll go straight through the uprights and be touchback. So Austin will take over at the five yard line. Get my stick figured out here. All right. So here we go. Beyond Golston and Van Diver on the line here. They've got Dickerson going in motion. Wilson Robinson to both sides. And ooh, Victor Velcro steps in front of that one. He wanted an early pick, but didn't get it. So Adrian McPherson definitely going to be a tough guy to stop in this game as he is a very good quarterback. Krager behind him. He'll definitely be a guy they'll go to if need be. He's going to throw that one in. Good hit there as Bonner playing some good defense. That's a five-yard gain. That'll be third down now. So Robinson, Nickerson, Wilson are on the field for the receivers. Says that's going to be a short drop, and Robinson will catch it. Good tackle there by Velcro, as uh, McPherson had to get rid of that one quickly. So fourth and two, they're going to go for it. Ball's on the 13. Gonna go back to pass here. They're gonna look, throw that one over the middle. Nickerson's got it, and Burns catches him, but it's just a little too late touchdown as they found the receiver open over the middle. So the trend of the slash allowing that first score happens yet again. As that is gonna be up in and good. So I definitely try not to cough into the microphone today, but all that kind of stuff will be edited out of the field if need be. 37-yard pass from McPherson. And that's going to be a good score as uh, Burns will get a good block there. Rutledge will get out past the 15. First down. So Davian Rutledge with a good return, and now let's see if we can hit him for something a little better than 15. Back to pass here. Going to launch that one. 
and he will reach up and grab it. That'll be inside the 10 near the 5, first down and goal as they get into the red zone. So that'll definitely help out. All right, see what we got this time. Bought a Rutledge and Velcro out there, the usual suspects. As uh, back to pass here, and oh, Russell's just going to have to eat that one. As that is a good sack. Great penetration there on the left-hand side of the line. D-line with a good, good play there. It looked like Rubio. As that is going to back him up. The ball's on the 12 now. Rutledge, Velcro, Botter. See what they do this time. Back to pass here. The oh, Russell penetrated on again. That's going to be a complete third and goal. Hopefully be able to get something here, but we got to figure out what's what that's going to be. We'll try to get that toward Bonner, but a good play by the defense to stay in front of that one. Incomplete, so we'll just have to take the field goal here. That's all right. We'll allow our defense to play some good football and should be able to get it. As uh, That is going to be... A good kick. Thankfully, it did not drift too much as that was up over and good. That'll allow the slash to get three points. Seven to three. Austin will lead it after a 28 yard field goal from McKenzie Homebreaker. Five plays, 29 yards, and the slash do walk away with some points, thankfully. Now, to see if they can do something defensively and, uh, well, definitely have some work to do as I shake that one into the crowd. Ball is going to be on the 22-yard line, so not too horrible, but that's still midfield. Nickerson and Robinson to the left, and yeah, they're going to move the guy over, and ooh, that's a good catch and a fumble. And Bernard Bailey's going to pick it up. Number 77 has it. That's going to be a first down. Slash takeover. Like I said, if we can play some good defense, then we can definitely get something going as Coach is trying to sock his players up for a defensive stand here. So now we take over at the 21-22. As here we go. We go back to pass there. The launch out with Torn Rutledge, but he is well defended. We'll try one more time to see if we can nail him. I'm looking for an individual step here. And yeah, that's not going to be it. See if we can launch that towards Velcro, and he's going to be well covered. Velcro, not the speediest guy in the world, so he's definitely going to be covered. I did not see Rutledge open as much as I wanted him to be, so that was definitely not what I was hoping for. We go back to pass there. See if we can launch that one. That's definitely going to be well covered, incomplete. So that is not going to do it. Not that I'm rusty at this. I'm just not doing too good at the moment. All right, it's going to be about a 40-yard field goal here. So home wrecker should be able to nail this one if my stick doesn't fail me. And they might. Oh boy, it's drifting. And it is no good. Goes over the net just a bit off the construction. So that'll be no good. So that'll be a turnover. Okay. So we missed the field goal there. So we're definitely going to have to try and see if we can fix my accuracy. Ball's going to be at the five-yard line, though. So we've got to push back. As uh, Nickerson off the line there, there he goes. McPherson back to pass here. He's going to be in trouble. Van Diver has him, and what in the world they call face pass. 
So they'll get a yard out of that. They'll get a free yard okay. So Van Diver will get the sack, but uh, it'll net them a yard. So second and nine. This team has got to be kind of a penalty happy team at times, it seems. As we're going to go back to pass here. And go to launch Elvin to the right. Nickerson's got it. He'll go over the boards. And that's going to be a holding penalty. So we will back them up. Second and 12. So that'll work. Rubio not happy. He's definitely mad at the call. He thought he was playing clean. But Ref didn't think so. So that'll be good. second and 12 on the three yard line. If we get some good penetration here, might be able to do something. Barnes on the line now, taking over for Van Divers. He's got to get a rest. That's going to be a short throw. Bailey can't make the tackle. Wilson goes down. Bonner able to bring him to his to the grass, and that'll be third down. So Vion. Golston and Barnes on the line. Nickerson off the line there for the receivers. So they're going to hand that one off. And oh, good tackle there. Viong, big V with a tackle for loss. That was a beautiful tackle. And that'll be the end of the first quarter. As the Austin Wranglers. We'll walk into the second quarter leading this one 7-3. to three. They do have the football. We'll see what they do here on fourth down. So second quarter now definitely going to see what they're going to do. They look like they want to go for it here. So we're going to play some run defense fourth and five. As Van Diver back out there now. Ghost in the field is Robinson's going to go in motion left to right. And uh, McPherson's going to take off. That's probably a mistake as Bonner's there. Cornelius Bonner keeps him from the sticks. That's a turnover. As McPherson thought he could break free of that, but that was definitely not the option he needed to take there. Slash have been limited in their, in their plays so far today, so i got to see if they can break the plane in this end zone try. As Rutledge will get a step, and that's going to go off the net. And that is going to be incomplete. Maybe see if we can hit Bonner on this one. Got to see if we can find an open receiver. Going to go back to pass here. Oh, he's... Russell's got to get away, and that's, that's an interception. And that'll be a touchback as Bonner makes the tackle. As Russell was trying to hit Bonner on that one, but he missed. So that's going to be the first turnover of the day for the slash. So both teams now with a takeaway. As that'll put the ball at the five-yard line. So if, if this defense can do its job here, then okay. Russell only one for eight on the day, so definitely not the best numbers. And we usually lose games when he's not playing at his best. As Kevin Snow has to drag now Nickerson from behind. That is going to be a first down. Big first down there by the Wranglers as they get into slash territory. Wilson to the right. Nickerson Franklin to the left as Wilson will go in motion. That's going to be back to pass, throwing that one, and ooh, Joseph Burns was in front of it. If he had had hands, he could have had himself an interception, but not this time. Second and ten. McPherson, six for eight, so he's definitely having a good day. Jason Johnson makes his way on the line. See if he can do something. He will. Here's a big sack. When Johnson comes in fresh, he's usually a good threat. As that is going to be a big loss there of four yards. And that will push them back into regular territory. Third and 14.
So the Wranglers got to see what they can do this time. Dickerson, Wilson, Robinson back there, and that's gonna be a that's gonna be a huge throw, and it's deflected, incomplete, and the Wranglers will probably have to kick a field goal here. This will put them up by ten if they can make this. Shouldn't be too bad of a kick for them, about uh, close to a 40-yard field goal. As that is going to be up, and it will doink off the uprights. Rutledge will get a bit of a return as he'll get tripped up and land it near the 15. So great, great stand. Defense did just enough, and the kicker could not put it through the construction. So that is going to make it first and 15, or first and 10 on the 15. They just see if we can just launch this one here. They'll throw that one toward the back of the end zone and a little too much. I wanted to try and throw that ahead to get a step on the guy, but just didn't work out. So that was my fault on that throw. Back to pass there. Throw that one toward Bonner. He might have it. He will have it. And that'll be caught near the 20. First down, Cornelius Bonner with his first catch of the day. As he's able to get that one. Russell now only completed two passes today. That is subpar even for him and back to pass here uh oh Russell in trouble and he's not getting rid of that one that's Rubio again who made the tackle that'll back him way up so I'll push him back to the 22 they gotta get the ball inside the 10 to get a first down here cancel that Throw that one towards Rutledge. He's got it and then does it. Oh, that would have been a huge catch. But he just could not hang on. Third down now. Back to pass here. He'll throw that one towards Rutledge. He's got that one and he'll break the tackle and the plane. Touchdown slash as they finally penetrate the end zone and the lead. So first time the Slash have the lead. Beautiful little throw and catch there by Russell to Rutledge. All right, so made a little bit of adjustment to my camera because it was a bit off where it did not need to be, but hey, that's okay. So the Slash able to actually take the lead on that one finally able to get into the end zone as Russell's been having a bad day, but he's able to hit Rutledge after five plays on a 28 yarder that scores. So now Slash has got to play some good defense now. And let's see if we can get a straight kick. That time we do. This will bank off the net. As that is going to be a good tackle there, as that will get out. Pass the 10 to the 12. First down, Austin. They have not run the ball much in this game, and I hope they don't. As uh, Crager is not really taking much in this game at all. As he's going to be, ooh, McPherson was under a lot of pressure, but able to dump that off. As Bernard Bailey made the tackle, but oh my goodness, he was... He was in trouble. His line collapsed. Robinson was there, though, made that catch. So here we go. Sec it's going to be second down and short, and that's going to be picked off. Bernard Bailey's got him one. That man has been consistent. He's had about an interception every, uh, every game for the past three or four games. Bailey in front of that one as, the, as McPherson trusted his wide out, but he needed to trust his arm a little less than what it was there. I might actually try and throw this one to Bonner. Back to pass here. 
and he's going to get jammed up. And then Russell's going to have to take the sack. Nobody got open. Bonner got hung up, and then my other two receivers were just in trouble. As a uh, been having trouble protecting the quarterback today. So backed up all the way to the 21 yard line on our own half of the field. Back to pass there. Gonna launch that one. Rutledge might have it, but good defense. That one did not work out. That's gonna be incomplete. Story of her life in this game. I would like to run it here, but I don't know if that's gonna be a good option. I am having trouble with my play calls today. I would definitely say that one. Uh, going to go back to pass there. Going to throw that one toward Rulledge. He will get it. So I get as closer as we were. And Austin will call a timeout. Less than a minute to go. So we can try to kick it and get a six-point lead, but I don't know if that's going to be much of a good thing, and I really don't trust my, trust my passing enough at the moment to really get a good, good play here, especially short. So this will be a 26-yard field goal. See if we can get this one. At least it will be a six-point lead as that will go up over and good, well over the netting. 55 seconds left at the half as McKenzie Homebreaker hits a 32 yarder. Four plays, 13 yards, and we're able to walk away with sub points. This has been a subpar game today. Kind of how I've been feeling subpar over the last week or so, especially me and the rest of my family. But, uh, is this going to be a return there as uh, Dewan Moss out there makes a good tackle as he plays linebacker at times. As that is going to make it first and 10 on the 8-yard line. Let's see what they do here. Robinson Dickerson and Wilson out there. See what McPherson does on first down. 35 seconds left, and that is going to be, he's going to run it. And McPherson's going to go over the wall. That's a good eight-yard game, but Bonner made sure he didn't, went, didn't go much farther. Second time out for Austin. Ball's on the 15-yard line, second and three. He got a seven-yarder. I thought he got eight. That's all right. So here we go, back to pass again, and oh, oh, that time McPherson nailed Van Diver, went for the ankles and got him. That is going to be incomplete, so that will stop the clock. So third down, three yards to go. Wranglers doing what they can here. As he's going to try to run it, and that's going to be nothing doing. Cincinnati will call timeout. 26 seconds left. As that is going to definitely stunt the drive there. So Cincinnati with two timeouts left. Austin has one. So if Cincinnati can stand here, they might be able to get a chance to score again. All three receivers to the left. Back to pass. He's looking. He'll throw that one to the right. And Nickerson's going to get it. Austin still with a timeout. As the ball's going to be at the 20. They've got a chance to score here. And they will call their last timeout. I don't know why you actually let the clock run down a couple of ticks. When every tick in this game is critical. Nickerson Robinson to the right. And he's going to throw that one in. Picked off. Joseph Burns gets that one on the deflection. As he was in the way, it bounced off his back and he grabbed it. So 
So Joseph Burns with a spectacular heads up play. Kept his head on the swivel. The only problem is the ball's on the one yard line, so we ain't got room to maneuver. We only got room to launch it. It's gonna be back to pass there. Gonna, oh, he's gonna have to get rid of it. And he can't do it. That is gonna be incomplete. Ball's on the one yard line, definitely trouble. The launch out one toward Rulich, he's got it. He'll break the tackle and he's gone, touchdown. And that'll be the end of the half as that is another 50 yard bomb as Russell sets a record. I had to add my name to the databank. As Cincinnati now actually extending the lead That'll make it 19. This will make it 20. 20 to 7. Cincinnati leading Austin after one half of football. So the cheerleaders got to get the home crowd ready for the second half. And they got to try to motivate their team. Definitely a good football game so far as the Slash have turned it up defensively. As we'll take a look at some of the stats of the game so far, Slash extend that lead up 20 to 7. Only 115 yards offense for the Slash, 108 for the regulars, uh, 100 yards passing for the regulars, and no rushing yards for the Slash yet. But we'll definitely have to change that in the second half. Three takeaways for the Slash. They did give the ball away on the interception earlier, but it did not cost them yet. Slash on third down are only one for four, while the regulars are 0 for four. On fourth down, though, the regulars two for three, so uh, they do it okay in that aspect. A uh, few penalties here for both teams, as we'll take a look at the quarterbacks. First of all, Adrian McPherson, he's had a rough, a rough day just like Russell, 59.5 rating. He's had 106 yards, one touchdown, two interceptions, though. And that has been the problem. 8 for 14 on the day, 57% completion, but he has been sacked three times. As Dan Russell, 73.4 rating, 134 yards, two touchdowns, one interception, 5 for 16 for only a 31% completion rating. He also has been sacked three times in this game. So we'll give ourselves a bit of a break here. And we will be right back for the second half of football. So here we go, second half of football. And after the slash score right before the half, they're going to get another opportunity to get the football back as the Wranglers are in trouble. They've got to play some good defense as this one will go between the uprights. That'll be a touchback. So that'll put the ball mid on the five yard line right there in the middle of the hat see what we got this time see if we can complete one of our usual passes here launch that one toward Rutledge he will get it he'll pass the 15 of the Wrangler territory first down as thankfully that route has been working most of the year and thankfully it's working here get herself mentally back in this football game as Rulledge now has five catches for 151 yards back to pass here he'll throw that one toward Rulledge he'll break a tackle and he'll get near the five near the first down marker as he goes and uh, does some damage to the speakers on the left hand side he does get the first down they call it and that'll be first and goal, and now it's Dewan Moss time. Let's see if Moss can get in the end zone here. The one thing is the regular defense has been pretty tough this year, so we'll have we'll have a fight on our hands as we had some decent blocking, but just could not get through a hole there. So that's going to make it second down. We'll try that play one more time as we back up a couple yards out to the six. 
if I can get open here then hopefully we'll be able to get the score I'm also get the handoff and a lot of penetration there that's another loss and that'll be a face mask so that'll push us forward to the three yard line Franklin not happy about that and he got flagged for the for the face mask definitely not what he wanted see if maybe it could hit Botter here got everybody crossing the routes here so we got to see if we get this throw that one toward Botter but yeah no good they played a good zone so we're just going to kick the field goal we'll take the easy points As this will be pretty much a chip shot. As that is going to be up, in, and good. McKenzie Homebreaker, despite my bad stick skills today, puts that one through 23-7. Now the score is Cincinnati. Able to finish the drive, 7 plays, 43 yards. They go 19 yards on the field goal. So Cincinnati definitely doing what they can in this game. As that kick is going to be drifting toward the right corner, and that'll go off the net. Pearson with a good tackle there, Robinson. So that's pretty much a touchback. So first and ten from the five, Wranglers have a lot of work to do. Slash trying to wake up offensively. As they're going to move man in motion. That's going to be a good throw over the middle. Nickerson's going to get it. Everybody trying to tackle him. And finally taken down. Big game there. As that man was trying to break every tackle in the arena. So that'll be first down. Dickerson now with 96 yards and a touchdown out of four catches. As he is their main target. Back to pass there. And uh, ooh, fumble. And oh, could not pick it up. And uh oh, there's an injury we don't need to see. Cornelius Bonner goes down as he's holding his arm oh my goodness what happened on that play so what ended up happening on that one after checking the replay is that uh cornelius bonner laid a hit on the receiver the ball comes out banks off of burns burns tried to get it but mishandled it and then Franklin dives on the football for a fumble recovery touchdown. So the Wranglers finally able to get a score after the first score of the game. So thankfully they were able to pick up that one. But Franklin just in a great spot at a great time as uh, the defense just could not pick up the loose ball. As Rutledge will get that. And he'll take it out near the 15. First down. So that lead will be cut down now. To make it a nine point lead. Try to see if maybe we get Dewan Moss involved in the run game here. As he will get a good run there. Finally taken down after about four yards. They'll give us five on it. So Cornelius Bonner strained bicep, hurt his bicep on the hit because he nailed that receiver, and that's why the ball came out like it did. Rutledge has got a good step on his guy. He's going to take that one out of bounds at the goal line. First down, slash. So Russell, 8 for 20 so far on the day. 207, two touchdowns, one interception. And Moss will stretch out, but can't quite get there. That'll be a no gain on that one. We've been having trouble penetrating 
getting in the end zone. Especially on the short yardages, oh, boss, short again. I hate to throw it here on third down, though. Especially with boss so close. We can get that left hand side like we did last time, then maybe we can get this. As Moss will stiff arm a guy, he fights hard to get the yard he got, but not enough. So we'll just kick the field goal here. They want us to go for it, but I don't think so. I've not won games by being overly aggressive like this. I've lost more than I've won in that matter. As this will be a good kick up in and good as thankfully make the adjustments where the stick didn't matter 26 14 now so a good 12 point lead so that'll keep us up 45 seconds left in the third a 17 yard field goal by homebreaker six plays 37 yards and they go the distance just enough to get some points out of it that is going to be a good kick that time. That'll go between the uprights. And then uh, Burns overruns himself. So that's going to be a kick violation. So that'll put the ball on the 10. Might as well give him some good yards as Krager is going to get a good carry that time. Good seeing Bonner back out there, but uh, Moss the one to make the tackle that time. Four yard gain. Here we go. Second down. Definitely be looking at Krager again. Oh, whoops. This is going to be thrown into the end zone. Touchdown. So the Wrangler is trying to come back on this one. As, ooh, Bernard Bailey taking offense to that one. He didn't want that guy doing any kind of showboating. So they will go for the extra point here. Slasher hanging on to a narrow lead. As this will go up in, oh no, it will go off the net. Banked off the pole actually. So that is no good. So the Slash still hang on to a six-point lead. 26-20 after three. They go two plays, ten yards. Six-yard pass from McPherson to Wilson. That completes the score. As Rutledge will get, get the kickoff off the net there and lands at about the nine-yard line. See if we can bomb another one to Rutledge here. And probably not. Oh, Russell able to avoid one guy, but he can't avoid them all. That's a sack. Wrangler defense has been all over us today. As we normally have 49 points. Well, the Wranglers normally have 49 points against them. Today, they're actually doing really good. About 26. Is, that one's going to be a big bomb there. Rutledge has got it. He'll get that inside the five. First down slash. So now we got to see if we can get Moss in this end zone. We get some good blocks and we should have it. So, oh, I said, ooh, Moss maybe got a yard there, but not quite. So, ball's on the two yard line. I try to see if we can punch this in. As Moss will get close and then he'll power in touchdown. DeWan Moss 
finally gets a rushing score in this game as he has scored, I think, in the last five games with a rushing touchdown. His last three games have been a double touchdown game, which has been amazing. So Cincinnati will increase the lead here. As that will go up in it good. So now 33-20 the score, 13-point lead. So Wranglers down by a couple of scores. Two-yard run by Moss. They go four plays, 48 yards, and they score. And here we go. McKenzie kicks that one. That's going to be a good deep kick. That'll go off the net. And that is a good tackle there. Robinson gets out to the 10. So here we go, first and 10 now. Defense is going to play hard. Three and a half minutes left in this game. Let's see how things go this time for the regulars. McPherson back to pass. He's looking. He's in trouble as Van Diver got him deer in headlights as he moved over, but it was in the wrong direction. The line just melted. Penetration for both teams has been really superb in this game as that was a six-yard loss. Big sack by Van Diver. Harold Van Diver has just been awesome this year as a penetrating force. And, oh, there's a deep pass. Wilson's got it. He's gone. Touchdown, Wranglers. Austin with a big strike in that one. So that cuts the lead down to seven. Seaver is back to kick this one. He missed an extra point last time. He won't miss that one. Up in and good. So the lead drops down to six, 33-27. So 46-yard pass from McPherson to Wilson. He found his guy, and that was it. As this will bounce off the net, Rutledge will get a return here. And uh, out to the 10, maybe the 11. And they will give the give us the 11-yard line. So two and a half minutes left in this game. Got to see what we can do on this. Back to pass here. Gonna launch out with the Rutledge as Russell got hammered as he threw that one. As that was the absolute last second to get rid of that football. First down slash. Gonna try and see if we can stick with the run game for a bit. Because we can kick a field goal, be up by two scores and everything. We just gotta hope Moss can hang on the football. There's a good carry there by Moss. That'll be about three. Maybe two. They'll give him three. So two minutes now. Moss able to get to the outside, but the uh, Wrangler defense has been really good about trying to contain. And that'll be a timeout for Austin. They'll call it. Because at this point, we're just trying to kill clock. Wrangler's trying to save their division hopes. As that'll be a handoff, and Moss penetrated on. Big tackle there. Austin will call timeout. So third down now. Neither team has done well on third down. Slash have a single conversion. Let's be back to pass here. Throw that one toward Bonner. He will get that touchdown as, excuse me, that was Velcro. I thought it was Bonner, but Victor Velcro coming up strong with a huge catch. I saw a round number, and I thought it was the number nine of Cornelius Bonner, but it was not. As that will increase the lead 39 to 27. 
and that will be a good kick. Homebreaker puts that one between the construction sticks. So a minute and a half to go. Slash lead at 40 to 27. Russell hits Velcro, 14-yard pass. Four plays, 39 yards, and the Slash able to extend that lead comfortably. Now they just got to play some defense. Because that kick is going to shake. And that will go out of bounds. Thankfully it goes out of bounds in the end zone. So that will be a touch back. Alright, getting back into it. Last minute and a half to go for this football game. As the Slash now had to defend and do the best they can here. Nickerson off the line and they're going to throw the oh he's going to try and sneak up the middle that did not work out good stop by the defense as that'll be a yard loss so that'll be credited for a yard loss there by mcpherson as he goes down ball to four now second 11 back to pass as Oh, that is a deep pass, and Wilson's got it. He'll stretch it out. Touchdown. Bailey lost him. That's going to be the one-minute warning. That's going to be exactly what the Wranglers needed. Seven-point lead. If they can score on, on another touchdown, they can take the lead. Is Now it's a six-point lead. As they're going to go for the onside kick here. 57 seconds left in the game. And here we go. Let's see. Seavers can get that one. That's going to be picked up by Van Diver. He'll scoop it at the 11. So that's going to be a first down for the slash. Ball on the 11 yard line. Hand this off to our boy, Dewan Moss. Let's see how well he does here. That'll be a handoff. Moss has got a little room. He'll get a yard there. Couldn't quite shake the defenders. So let's see what we can do here on second down. So Bonner out there on the right, Rutledge and Velcro to the left. Velcro might be the guy I want to go to here, unless Bonner gets open. Back to pass here. Ooh, might get it to Bonner. He's going to drop it, because that was a good hit by the defense. Incomplete, 30 seconds left. Don't want to give him too much too much here so Russell 11 for 24 on the day he's been having a pretty rough day back to pass here oh velcro got open he's not gonna be able to drag it down incomplete as everybody had a chance at that one but nobody got it so this field goal should be able to submit the football game if we can nail it Just have to adjust things here and not shank it. And that'll be up over and good. McKenzie Homebreaker keeping us in the lead. 22 seconds left in the game. That is now a nine point lead. 43 34 is Damian Rutledge. Yet again, player of the game. As he has been the guy we needed. That is going to be a big pick up there. Robinson gets out of the tackle. As Burns can't quite bring him down with that baby shove. 19 seconds left. The Wranglers are out of timeouts. So they had to strike now. As Jason Johnson on the line now. Nine seconds to go. As he's going to run it. McPherson's going to get a couple yards. But that's pretty much going to do it. As I unlock another team here. 
as that is going to be the end of the game. Wranglers struggling in this one. They just can't quite win this one as the Slash plays some solid defense and they're able to hang on. Number of good turnovers for the Slash allowed them to hang on to this lead and they win it thanks to some good plays on at least the defensive side of things. Made just enough plays offensively to be able to come out on top as we look at the final stats. Slash win this one 43-34. 274 yards offensively for the Slash. 237 for the Wranglers. 11 rushing yards. Not bad on the day for the Slash. Wranglers with 14. So 263 total yards passing for the Slash. 223 for the Wranglers. Uh, Wranglers didn't have a whole lot of first downs and that pretty much would have been what cost them in this. But the three takeaways though by the Slash are definitely what helped. Only two for eight on the day on third down for the Slash. over for four for the Wranglers. They were two for three for fourth downs. And a few penalties all around for everybody here on this game. McPherson ends the day with a good stat line though. 114.9 rating, 234 yards, four touchdowns, two interceptions, but 13 for 19, 68% completion, though he was sacked five times in this game. Russell got sacked four times. He had a 103.4 rating. He just started off horribly today. 288 yards, three touchdowns, one interception, 11 for 25, only 44% completion on the day as we take a look at the rushing. McPherson actually able to get 11 yards rushing out of three attempts. Crager only had three yards out of two attempts, while Moss with 11 attempts got one yard apiece but did get the touchdown, so it definitely helped out there. Wranglers receiving Wilson with seven receptions, 128 yards, three touchdowns for him. Nickerson, four for 96 and a touchdown. Robinson able to get a couple for 10 yards while the slash, it was Velcro and Bonner each with a 14-yard snag. Velcro's was a touchdown scoring one while Rutledge, nine for 200 and 60 yards, two touchdowns. So kind of a subpar day today in the number of touchdowns at least. But uh, look at the blocking. A lot of pancakes on the day, but they gave up a lot of sacks as well. Richardson, Wilson, Arp, Thomas, Crager, Rubio, and Robinson each with one while sacks allowed. Richardson gave up one. Arp gave up three, and then Thomas gave up one as well. While Moss gave up three. And Vion gave up a sack as well. <coughs> uh, excuse me. Rubio actually able to end the day with five tackles. He was the big threat on the line with three sacks. As we were seeing a lot of him, especially in the first half. Coleman with four tackles. Franklin with four. Robinson ended up getting three. Wilson with three. And then Payne, Craker, Arp with a couple of tackles while Craker had a sack. Thomas and Nickerson each with a tackle as well while Coggins had an interception in this game. Cornelius Bonner all over the field as usual. Eight tackles for the day. This man wanted to be the one-man wrecking crew as he also got a sack. He forced a fumble, but sadly it didn't go our way in that matter. Uh, Velcro, Barnes, and Snow each with a couple of tackles. Van Diver with a couple of sacks. Pearson with a couple of tackles, as well as Homebreaker, Golston, Moss, Johnson, Vyong, and Bailey each with a tackle as Johnson came in and made a sack there. And um, pretty much it. As for the day, field goals. Uh, Seavers over one of the field goals he missed. Missed one that was uh, just under the 50-yard mark. And then uh, McKenzie Homebreaker, 5 for 6 on the day. He hit the a longest one being the 32-yarder, but uh, had three attempts from the... Um, had four attempts from under 20. 
I don't know, when it does like the 20, 30 yard line break, it does weird with the stats, but ended up missing one on the day, and it was just not, it was just not a bad day for a home wrecker, but Seaver just really could get things going, but uh, definitely a great game here, so hopefully we'll be able to bounce back from the illness, and we'll see if the regulars can bounce back after the loss, slash win this one. And they take a stranglehold on the division. We'll be back next time for some more AFL action. If you like the content, like and subscribe. And come see me again. May you have a great rest of your day. God bless you.